this place is rural. This area is far from the city, far from the activities of the economy. Some people call it uh, forgotten people. Yeah, because it looks like we are forgotten by our municipality and our government. Yeah, because since I have been born, I never seen a civic de delivery in this village. Like, yeah, I'm sitting here with my chief, Mabira Zogonana. Is the one who is leading those three villages, Kwakwani, Mbodi, and then Matatan. And taking, he was in charge of these three villages. So I'm, I'm feeling good now about this project. So I want to thank the Institute of James Bird. Yeah. Uh, uh, when I grew up, I was, I, I was likely to read, but it was tough job because my father was not waking, my mother was not waking, so it was tough to read during the night, which means all my homework I need to do it during the day only. And it was tough job because we were traveling from Mandatan, which is five kilometers, plus minus five kilometers. So as a young man, when you travel from Mandatan, you can be tired. Uh, I woke up in the morning, half past four a.m. And I walked from here to Anyan Secondary School, which is the HGPC. And I take four hours to go to the secondary. Then after we get out, out at half past four p.m. and coming back here at home, and we get home at seven o'clock. And sometimes we, when we came home, the, our parents say that there is no cancer, which means you, we cannot do our homework. But now, anytime we, we want to do homework, we can do it. You will see the kids of my child, my children for a year. You see the, the different on a kilometers from here to go to Matadan school. It is six kilometers. Our child is too small, no transport to go there. I start my education at primary level, I didn't attend crash. So it's good for our children and then, and then for future. Yeah, I think this crash it was help. Also, don't only from this village. And also, uh, they had the first television last year, meaning at least they are in. They know what is happening, except the community that they are surrounded with. Uh, they have these smaller panels that the, that the university has provided for them and the sponsors in which it's mostly for charging, charging their cell phones and uh, for, for the lights. When I grew up, we do have buy cell phones, so it was tough to charge cell phones. So which means you need to travel from this village to another village and then they were charging us to charge cell phones. We, we knew to pay five rand, three rand. So, which means if I left here at 12, I need to come here at around four o'clock, just because I need to wait the cell phone to be full. I come from Congo. I'm born here. I'm born in Zimbabwe. Rowana or two thousand manda sabazurapo. But Morao ni rovar sina mabon. Does not rovakono. Rowana mabon ni rovakono shumisa. Now with the solar panel, they'll be able to open the bakery where they'll be baking bread. So which means we are going to eat bread, fresh bread from the village before we were waiting Christmas to come, and Good Friday to come, if visitors to come, just because you can come with bread and you start to eat bread. So now it's going to be much easier. 
and then bread in this side is very expensive job because they do charge transport they said this place is too far so you need to pay 10 rand you need to pay 15 rand for pay a lot oh uh, i'm very glad with uh, the bakery and uh, i think this bakery it will help everyone who says in Bapani Matatani Bode. Before we started to eat bread uh, mainly on the Christmas days. So now every day we will get bread here at Bapani. Every morning we will eat bread. Hey Kolibuwa, project here at Bapani. Your dessert is to drink the curry and sabab zorapo. Rena pulu pelori ikut dos pel sabab syai bukni apa hone. Wah zorapo orang buat kau tu lewa nama sumbangan ni project. Waktu banjir awak sabun susu kelera susu naga sabu roto. Susu naga kau iwan naga i project ya bapa. The challenge is with the water that you use for using the solar. Last time we were mad, but we used the machine just using a diesel. And the diesel machine is to use more money. Before we were using a diesel machine, I was the one who operated it. It was very strong, powerful, hard to start it. So mostly in winter. That engine was big, using diesel, so to start it in the morning, it was tough and it was dangerous. But the, the river water is not, it's not good because some other peoples that are living that side, it's washing inside, washing inside. This water is coming from the Gwakwani village. Some other, the people from Gwakwani village come to take this water for drinking everything. Uh, no, Kim Khan is using to use in this water to just licking the water. Mm. And this this area is the high risk malaria site area. In this Gwagwan. Every year more than 20 people is going to clinic so affected by malaria. Malaria linked to Donald Fraser affected the malaria. So they came and installed solar pump. The bowl water is better than the river water because the bowl water is come from down. Yeah, but the river water is very clean. 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 So now it's 24 hours water. So we do have running water, clean, free. Yeah, because before we were, we were buying diesels, paying transport to collect diesel, so it was very expensive. Yeah, mm. We do have another project which is called it drip irrigation. So we do plant vegetables, uh, different vegetables. So which means every day we can get a fresh vegetable from our garden, which means we, we are not going to use money to buy. And then another thing you can sell it and then so you can find some a few money that you can use at your house. And this village is only few people who work. It's only me and another guy. So, so all these people they depend on the social grant, child sub support grant, and then social grant. Yeah. So basically, they do small gardens next to the river. They do plant the way planting vegetables and then mealies, something like that. 
So they harvested and then save it for food. Yeah, some they do sell, but it's, it was difficult to, to plant next to the river, just because when rain comes, it, the, the flood wash it away. So it was difficult before. Now we, we, we use, uh, we do have water even in our, in our houses, so you can do a small garden in, the, in, the, in, the, in, in your house or in your home. Just help us the big bridge okay. because this one is the smallest and uh, if the rain is coming, the children of Mbodi is not coming to the Matani Premier School and the children of, of Matatani is not going to GPs, that's the food is coming because we know our country and we know this river. Project Because the Gokwani have no electricity, have no lighting, but now the village of Gokwani were using the solars. You were studying the crash, bakery. We are happy for these challenges. And uh, I think what they did with the first look, the crash and the bakery, at least there will be some sort of uh, uh, economic, economical activity, especially with the youth. As communities, as nations, we have a lot to do. As the country itself, they have a lot to do. Because um, uh, play, I think there are many places like this. I think there are many places like this. And uh, let's try to work together and put our villages on the maps so, they, so that they can get some certain recognition. When, you, when you're in Joburg, uh, when you're in uh, those metropolitan places, you never think of there are still kids in South Africa that walk five kilometers to go to school. Uh, but it is really happening. We're still having children that are still learning on trees in our 21st century. So it's really, really sad. As a South Africans, we need to help each other and then to travel around the, the, the countries, like just like South Africa. They must come from rural, I mean, from urban to rural to see what the challenges are in the rural areas. Just because if you live in, let's say, in Johannesburg, you can't realize that there's another portion of South Africa which looks like Squapan. So you need to go around looking those who cannot and then do some help. Come on, Fungo, and Garden. I'm going to go to Saria Bukuma. Now, we're going to go to the mirror and the sun is Marasnori chipo tokono the tabela rneva ne rikopona lazuri na fushi na zuri ya kona wau urengi sa bora dawa na stuku stuku zukama ni chavori ni ichimenti zukambori na ekonomia ni shanga kwa wanga tena ngati la. Yeah, so I want to thank Project Connection and the university and all the sponsors there. Never to take life for granted. Appreciate what you have.